Please welcome the candidates for graduation from the School of Professional Studies.
Please welcome the faculty and officers of administration of the School of Professional Studies. Welcome to the School of Professional Studies Class of 2022 Graduation Ceremony. Stand by here. Please be seated. Salt Lake City. Greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, this is Chandler from New York City. Hello, apa kabar semua? It was good, y'all. Coming from Dallas. Hello from Middlebush, New Jersey. If I were asked to describe my time at SPS in one word, it would be challenging. <laughs> Rewarding. I'd have to say supportive. Inspiring. Fantastic. Gosh, I hope this is the hardest question. Liberating. Diverse which was surprising. I was not expecting an Ivy League to be quite this diverse. While well, starting school during the pandemic was very challenging because the format was now remote. I would say that it was invigorating because there were so many different ways in which I learned what I learned. I would say it's cutting edge. I don't think there's anything that could beat the education or the programs at SPS. I'm actually the first in the whole family to get a master's degree. Definitely the first one to get a master's degree in America and from an Ivy League institution. My parents are very proud of me. I am the first person in my family who get a master's and who study abroad and they will support me from day one. I have to tell you, this degree is not just mine. <laughs> it's, it's for everybody. My husband jokes about he needs to get an honorary degree as well. My wife helped make it possible by sort of taking other things off my plate sometimes. I have such a support system to take care of my kids and my family back home while I'm doing and fulfilling my dreams here in the U.S. You can't do a program like this if you don't have their support. It's been good to have people around me that can keep me grounded. I really love how close or how tightly knit my cohort was. I got to meet friends I never thought I would meet. We're able to learn from each other. And I think that experience is truly life-changing. It made me feel like I had a broader community of people who were committed to this cause and this work. I'm really inspired by my classmates because they're very passionate about fighting social problems. Despite COVID and virtual learning, we've all still managed to become friends and make those connections. We really got to know each other. So when we did meet in person, it was as if we were lifelong friends. I know that some of my closest friends in, in my program 
um, are friends for life. If anything that I've learned, it's that we're all a family. The most valuable lesson that I learned through SPS is don't be afraid to say yes to opportunities. I've really been inspired by the theme of breaking tradition. One of my big takeaways from SPS is that knowledge is a living organism and a living system. Don't be discouraged by failure and rejection. It's been an incredible couple of years with some unusual challenges, but we made it through. It's time to celebrate. This is just the beginning of a bright future. Congratulations to all the graduates. We did it. Amazing, fantastic. We've made it. Thank you to my amazing fellow students. I learned so much from you. Thank you to all of our professors and faculty. Congratulations to everybody, and thank you for, for making it such a wonderful experience. These are exciting times. <laughs> Congratulations. Please welcome the Dean of the School of Professional Studies at Columbia University, Troy Eggers. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. On behalf of the trustees and all the faculty, congratulations to the Columbia University School of Professional Studies Class of 2022. I am so honored to be here with you all in person in my first graduation officially as your dean. So let us begin with some acknowledgments. I want to say, of course, thank you to our university leadership, including the Executive Vice President of Arts and Sciences and Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Amy Hungerford, Provost Mary C. Boyce, and President Lee C. Bollinger, along with all of our trustees. Thank you also to our SPS leadership team, many of whom you'll hear from today, especially our executive staff, Senior Vice Dean Stephen Cohen, and Associate and Senior Associate Deans Zalon Crawford, Eric Nelson, Sonal Pandey, and Louise Rosen. Our leadership team carried us through the academic year with sound guidance and munificent care. Also, thank you very, very much to our program directors whose wise counsel and diligent planning steered our academic programs with grace and aplomb. And thank you also to our esteemed faculty. We are here to celebrate your accomplishments too and the advancements you have made across a diverse range of fields and industries. Today, however, we celebrate you, the class of 2022. And we also need to celebrate all those who've supported our students from the very first day they decided to apply to graduate school. We recognize the families, parents, spouses, partners, friends, and colleagues. Indeed, all of you have helped make this class in their journey to earn a master's degree from Columbia University. Thank you. Cheer for them. You should cheer for them, is how that works. That's great. So the last two graduating classes, the class of 2020 and 2021, uh, spent most of their time at Columbia apart. But this year, however, we were together. While we were still navigating a rapidly changing pandemic, this class jumped fully into their master's programs and committed themselves to their studies while dreaming of how, of how they would best make a difference to a post-pandemic world. You all put enormous trust in Columbia as you walked into your classrooms each morning and each evening. You kept the compact and kept one another safe. You worked really, really hard. As Columbia Lions, you gave new meaning to the word lion-hearted. While you engaged yourselves in a diverse field of subjects, you all grew together as a class. I have no doubt you are graduating today forever changed. I observe a handful of traits in you that have been made manifest during your time at SPS. The first is that you are influential. Second, you're innovative. Third, collaborative. And finally, and most importantly, you pursue excellence at every level. I would venture that you evince these traits in your daily lives and in your work, as I have seen you come together and grow as school citizens. So you are influential. Thanks to our programs at SPS, Columbia has significantly increased its influence on the diverse field in which our school practices. 
Our programs work to extend their influence by establishing fellowships and funds to make way for students who might not otherwise have the opportunity to pursue these degrees. The Columbia HBCU Fellowship Program is celebrating its fifth graduating class today. The program was the first of its kind at the university and creates a pipeline of world-class talent for the very best employers across the globe. One of our fellows, Hezekiah Williams. Where is he? There he is, okay, good. A Jackson State University alum and a sustainability management student. He has, made, he has made such an impact this year that, he's won, that he has won both the Dean's Excellent Student Award and even more prestigiously, Columbia Alumni Association's Campbell Award. <laughs> to help foster these programs and create new ones in the future, this spring we welcomed our first Associate Dean of Alumni and Development, Sonal Pandey who has jumped right into her role developing more access initiatives and scholarship opportunities destined to, be, destined to be as popular and influential as our HBCU fellowship. So you're also innovative. You are the type of students who look to defy the status quo and bring ideas to reality. Your classwork and capstones engage executives at Fortune 500 companies and nonprofits all over and inspired them to try new methods and strategies. You join classmates from all over the world who are balancing careers and families and schoolwork because you know that you must engage with the world to change the world. So many of our students are entrepreneurs that 46 teams participated in this year's Greater Good Challenge, the Career Design Lab's competition for asking for the most innovative product pitches that improve the social, economic, political, technological, and environmental conditions of humankind our societies and this planet. You're also collaborative. Graduates of our master's programs have spent the last year or two working in deep collaboration with their peers. Teamwork is woven into our curricula and is one of the most valuable skills to have in any workplace. Our school-wide mentorship program is emblematic of the collaborative spirit of SPS. Students and alumni from all backgrounds interviewed one another to find the best fit and over a hundred mentor-mentee pairs work together throughout the year for mutual benefit. Finally, our graduates pursue excellence at every level. The student government, including President Adam Gerber, Vice President Caitlin Lasher, and Student Senator Adam Grant, connects our students with our administration so that we can clear the way to meet the diverse needs and goals of our students during their time at Columbia. Thank you also for the critical par partnership that our student affairs staff make with that wonderful student government. So you might feel as if your time at Columbia has gone by in the blink of an eye, but you are now Columbia alumni for life. My challenge for you to consider is, how will you, as graduates of Columbia, take what you have learned and change the world for better? To the class of 2022, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dean Eggers, for your inspiring words. And good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. That's right. My name is Zalon Crawford, and I am a very proud alumna of Columbia University Teachers College and Senior Associate Dean of Student Affairs. I'm very pleased to introduce this afternoon's speaker, Dr. Robert Klitzman. Dr. Klitzman is a professor of psychiatry at the Vagilos College of Physicians and Surgeons and the Mailman School of Public Health and leads the Master of Science and Bioethics program at Columbia University. Who better to address the class of 2022 than a leader inside and outside of the classroom and someone who knows our community well? He co-founded and for five years co-directed the Columbia University Center for Bioethics 
and directed the Ethics and Polity Corps of the HIV Center for 10 years. He has published over 160 scientific journal articles, nine books, and numerous chapters on critical issues in bioethics, including genetics, neuroethics, HIV prevention, research ethics, and doctor-patient relationships. Dr. Klitzman has received numerous awards for his work, including fellowships from the John Simon Guggenheim Foundation, the Russell Sage Foundation, the Commonwealth Fund, the Aaron Diamond Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the list goes on and on. He's a member of the Empire State Cell Commission and served on the U.S. Department of Defense's Research Ethics Advisory Panel. He is a distinguished fellow of the American Psychiatric Association and a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and a regular contributor to the New York Times and CNN. And on a personal note, I really enjoy working with Dr. Klitzman. When he has an issue, he is never afraid to raise it. And he always comes up with very creative solutions. And for that, I'm incredibly appreciative. Please join me in welcoming our faculty speaker, Dr. Robert Klitzman. Well, thank you, Dean Crawford, for that wonderful introduction. And it's really been a wonderful delight and pleasure to work with you and your team as well. So thank you. And Dean Eggers, graduates of the School of Professional Studies here at Columbia, families, friends, faculty, staff, and guests, I'm deeply honored and moved to be here with you today and to speak with you. To our wonderful graduates of 2022, congratulations. You have all worked hard to be here and have earned well-deserved praise. You have chosen to pursue graduate education and have now gained knowledge and skills that will aid you and importantly, our planet. In this ever more uncertain world, you have all learned how to understand and solve difficult problems, whether in nonprofit management, information knowledge strategy, strategic communication, That's the cheer. Sustainability management, sust <laughs> sustainability man science, enterprise risk management, <laughs> actuarial science, <laughs> or my own field, bioethics. <laughs> In each of these wonderful areas, you have gained important abilities to analyze and synthesize complex information to handle, to help varied organizations maximize benefits to people and avoid risks, and to communicate about these issues to other people in order to help us cope with ever new challenges. You have acquired vital skills for our world today and for that of the future, whether in understanding the stories of patients and healers mastering the powers of mathematics or sustaining our planet. You should be proud, and so should your family and friends. I want to cheer. <laughs> That's the Columbia spirit. We celebrate here today in an exciting time of unparalleled discoveries and innovations. Humankind has progressed further technologically than it ever has before. Think about that. Yet our world is also facing mounted challenges and threats, from brutal military invasions and cyber warfare to pandemics and changes to our climate. We can harness vast new scientific inventions to improve our lives and those of billions of others or to wreak havoc and harm. Social media can unite us as a species to overcome these hurdles or to spread fake news and disinformation that plunges us ever deeper into tribalism. Around the world, inequities widen rather than shrink. But the education you have attained here at Columbia has given you crucial intellectual strengths for combating these menacing forces. For over two and a half centuries, Columbia has embodied and advanced the highest ideals of humanity and urged us all to do the same. Behind us here at the southern end of campus rises Butler Library, just behind you here, this building. 
and crowning it carved in stone are the names of Plato, Aristotle, Dante, Shakespeare, and others. And I recommend that you take a look around on the sides, too, or a whole host of names. At the northern end of campus, a few lot blocks behind me and in front of you, stands Teachers College, where the names of Washington, Lincoln, and others are likewise chiseled in stone. These names soar above us as constant reminders of our shared cultural and intellectual legacy. As Sir Francis Bacon wrote in the 16th century, knowledge is power. For centuries, universities such as Columbia have stood as bulwarks against threats of violence, fascism, and torrents of hatred. And today, as Dean Edgars reminded us, you join the ranks of other Columbia graduates from Alexander Hamilton and Theodore Roosevelt and Franklin Roosevelt to Rogers and Hammerstein, Isaac Asimov and Amelia Earhart. Each of you now carry inside you the fruits of this living legacy and its ideals, lessons from history, and insights of and about new technologies. These problems that we now face all require interdisciplinary approaches and knowledge which the School of Professional Studies specializes in and which you now possess today. You can now think critically and astutely to help guide us toward better lives. As part of that tradition, you should also continue to expand your horizons, learn and acquire new wisdom. Education is a lifelong pursuit. I would like to quote from the commencement address here several years ago from one other Columbia graduate, President Barack Obama. He said, quote, making your mark on the world is hard. It takes patience. It takes commitment. It comes with plenty of setbacks and plenty of failures. But whenever you hear those voices that say that you can't make a difference, whenever someone tells you to set your sights lower, previous generations who have come before you should give you hope. Don't just get involved. Fight for your seat at the table. Better yet, fight for a seat at the head of the table. Never underestimate the power of your example. If you're willing to do your part now, if you're willing to reach up and close that gap between what America is and what America should be, I will be right there with you. Graduates of 2022, I hope you will heed these words and take what you have learned here to help make our world a better place. You are the next generation, and we look to you with great hopes. I wish you good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. You are the next generation. Thank you very much, Dr. Klitzman, for your thoughtful words and your passion. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce you to our student speaker. Each year, students from across all our master's programs apply for the opportunity to speak to their graduating class, and a standout candidate is selected. I am proud to introduce this afternoon's speaker, Adam Gerber, 2022 candidate for a Master of Science in Strategic Communication. Adam came to the School of Professional Studies after 15 years in theater and nonprofit arts education. Understanding the critical need to acknowledge social inequities, he rooted his teaching in arts advocacy, providing free acting training to high school students and bringing live production to diverse communities that lacked access to performing arts. In 2019, Adam leveraged his adaptability, highly advanced communication skills, and relationship building expertise, and pivoted to a career in residential real estate sales and rentals. He is a member of the Leibowitz team at Douglas Elliman, one of the top producing teams company-wide. As an SPS student, Adam has contributed to a wide variety of student-led organizations with a mission to enhance the student experience. Positions have included president of the SPS government, vice president of the SPS government, part-time strategic communication ambassador, and SPS, SPS delegate for the Interschool Governing Board at Columbia University. 
armed with expectations, skill sets, and information embedded in, in him through SPS and the Strategic Communication Program, Adam is eager to continue growing his real estate business and spending more time, and this is my favorite part of his bio, spending more time with his unparalleled wife, Michal, and his beautiful son, Benjamin. Please join me in welcoming Adam Gerber. Wow. Um, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, fellow graduates, esteemed faculty, SPS leadership, friends, and family, and to every single person that contributed to making this in-person event possible. Thank you. I cannot begin to express how grateful I am to be standing with you guys here today. The view from up here is, and let me tell you this, it's a lot different than from where I started. So 19 years ago, my parents made the difficult decision to send me to an in-person rehabilitation center for adolescents dealing with substance abuse issues. I was 20. I was 140 pounds. I had two disorderly conduct citations in my pocket, self-inflicted cigarette burns on both arms, a shattered kneecap, and a black eye from the previous evening's fight. I was lost. All the potential in the world, but unable to access any of it. And I stand here with you as we graduate from one of the foremost universities in the world, all of this beyond anything I ever could have imagined for myself, and all because of a decision that was made by my parents 19 years ago. As my influencing behavior teacher, Kai Wright, would say, human beings process 35,000 decisions on a daily basis. Now, I'd like us to take a moment to frame that statistic slightly differently. That we have on a daily basis 35,000 opportunities to do something extraordinary with our SPS experience, and sometimes it only takes one decision, one commitment to an idea to change someone's life, or maybe the world forever. But as James Baldwin said, a real decision makes one humble. One knows that it's at the mercy of more things than can be named. You see, two years ago, we were sitting at home, the height of a global pandemic, on the verge of making a massive personal professional and financial sacrifice, a decision that likely took numerous conversations with partners, parents, employers, trusted confidants, many of whom are sitting here today with us, cheering us on, and thank you very much. And somehow, we arrived at the conclusion that this institution was our next step toward a brighter future filled with more choices and, and greater opportunities. But the question I have for you is can we alone claim credit for that decision when it was made in concert with those whose choices and perhaps what even what forces formed who we are? So yes, we leave here today having been given the building blocks by our programs to make sound, strategic, and ethical decisions. But moreover, we've developed a network of peers, colleagues, professors, classmates, and friends to confide in and to rely on when we're faced with the most important decisions. 
You see, 19 years ago, I couldn't make any decisions. All I knew was that I didn't care. But for a couple of young parents from Brooklyn who loved their son, who believed in every fiber of their being in his potential, they made one decision, but with the collective counsel of their family and their friends and with the guidance of their faith, one decision out of thousands, and it landed me here with you in a master's robe from Columbia University. With sleeves I'll never understand. <laughs> as the outgoing president of the School of Professional Studies Student Government, as a proud member of the MS and Strategic Communication and part-time cohort, and as someone who feels, as somebody who feels a personal responsibility to every single SPS 2022 graduate sitting here today, it has been one of the greatest honors of my life to share this experience with you. Congratulations, SPS Class of 2022. I wish you nothing but a life and career filled with difficult but fruitful decisions. Congratulations. Wonderful talk, two wonderful talks. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Steve Cohen, I'm the Senior Vice Dean here, and I direct the Sustainability Management Program. We will now begin the presentation of the candidates. Degree candidates from each program will be recognized. The candidates for a Columbia University Master's of Science degree this afternoon represent nine academic programs. Actuarial science. Are you here, actuarial science? Okay. Bioethics. Enterprise risk management. Information and knowledge strategy. Narrative medicine. They're narrating. Nonprofit management. Strategic Communications. <laughs> Sustainability Management. <laughs> Sustainability Science. The candidates from these academic programs have exhibited a tremendous amount of commitment and brain power and passion to get here today. And we're proud to honor them on this wonderful occasion this rite of passage. So now I'd like to invite my friend and colleague, Dr. Eric Nelson, Senior Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, to welcome this afternoon's graduates to the stage. Eric. Thank you, Dean Cohn. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Actuarial Science please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the Senior Program Director, Dr. Lena Shu, to congratulate the graduates. Yi Tian Wang. Sebastian Erkiaga. Mark Sargenti. Po An Chen. Ji Yo Li. Kai Jie Chen. Hui Ting Li. Lan Zhou Yi Bing Chen Xin He Wen Yu Wu 
Jemezia Ezekioha. Lang Sun. Yusuf Rashid Uzaman. Elim Kim. Ariel Paley. Chao Yi Ju. Zhe Yue Qin. Nalani Dlamini. Angel Baha. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Bioethics please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Robert Klitzman, to congratulate the graduates. Brian Geldzeiler. Gabrielle DiSapia Natarelli. Nicholas O'Malley. Marissa Dallas. Kimberly Thacker. Suzanne Lois Andrews. Farley Moore. Randy Fain. Merrill Selig. Epiphany Cruz Maxwell. Kimberly Berry. Taylor Hazley. Alex Henderson. Anna Vargo. Oscar Alexis Nera. Yaritza Colazzo. Diana Lesmus. Stephanie Pena. Jason Sanchez. Stephanie Rupa Sinapan. Mema Molly. Andy Blankenstein. Amanda Shen. Lauren Ludwig. Lei Fang. Yong Shuo Tang. Yan Fei He. Jun Qi Zhang. Shake their, shake their hand. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Enterprise Risk Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Sim Siegel, to congratulate the graduates. Yuan Ching Chen, Madeline Keshenover, Danny Vasquez, Sean Arata. Dylan Walia Kasande, Sukru Aksoi, Yue Shao, Pei Yang Li, Charlie Chanshin Lin, Xian Kai Tu, Zheng Tian Ge. Yu Han Liu, Yi Dan Li, Si Meng Ren, Wen Hao Chen, Tuba Beg, Tin Nok Chan, Ren Jun Huang, Cao Dong Sheng. Tian Li Wang, Jin Hao Luo, Wei Yang Ma, 
Sam Gong, Jinan Sun, Yun Cho, Chuan Ru Zhang, Li Ju Pan, Meng Xue Wang, Yu Xiao Zhu, Shi Jin Zhang, Meng Zi Lin. Jia Yu Wang, Yi Tao, <coughs> Yu Ke Zhou, Yu Tong Chen, Xin Hao Tao, Ying Xi Lin, Chu Yi Pu, Jin Ming Yu, Wei Xiong. Gong Zhu Zhao, Si Fan Wang, Jia Xie, Jingling Ouyang, Rong Meng Xu, Zhe Han Du, Si Yuan Wu. Zhe Ming San, Yue Han Yao, Yi Han Fang, Ying Sha Pan, Jie Guo, Chen Yi Li, Zhe Mo Chen. Karim Stabile, Stephen Whipke, Emily Coyle, Matthew Brady the Third, Ke Xin Liao, Joran Jo, Viviana Castillo Tehan. Si Qi Chen, Yu Han Li, Yu Xun Zheng, Mei Ying Li, Nan Wang, Dan Yi Zhang, Ke Xin Chen. Wang Yu Wang, Han Yu Xiao, Yi Chen Wang, Rui Sun, Zi Ting Chen, Atiwat Chiratiwat, Cai Wei Xu, Se Hui Cui. Hai Yuan Yang, Zi Yao Wang, Fan Ya Xu, Nancy Zuo, Meng Yao Wang, Ning Xin He, Yi Wen Xu, Xiao Yan Li. Ran Wei, Xuan Ji, Zhen Yu Yuan, Zi Xu Zhang, De Zhen Meng, Yi Fei Gong, Yu Zhou Chen, Ying Lin Li, Zhu Long Ying. Qi Ling Xiang, Hai Meng Ma, Yu Ting Wang, Cheng Liu, Wei Qing Bi, Qing Yuan Tang, Kevin Chang, 
Zhang Chao He, Yu Tong Wang, Ren Kang Yu, Qin Yi Zhang, Yi Chun Liu, Richard Yang, Bi Xiao Zhao, Jing Yi Tang, Si Yao Huang, Mu Yun Gao, Prachi Chobe, Danica Gaoresu, Susan Shen, Laurine Fogel, Ruo Hong Wang, Ching Li, Zi Han Wu, An Ming Lu, Biao Jing, Ji Yun Sun, Shu Yuan Zhang, Yue Lin, Si Ge Di, Ming Yu Zhang, Ruo Xian Shen, Tali Fu Yu, Yi Ting Wu, Pei Shan Wu, Dong Mei Zhao, Xue Yan Qi, Shu Dan Deng, Ke Xin Han, Xin Yan Yao, Hao Zhe Xu, Shi Qin Cao, Pin Chen Ji, Hui Lei Xing Chen, Si Min Liang, Shi Yun Chen, Yong Tao Si, Yue Zhao, Wei Jie Tang, Yuan Li, Tang Chiu Shi Zhou, Yun Deng, Yu Zhen Zhu, Ren Si Chen, Zi Yi Jiao, Xing Huan Zhu, Man Yuan, Jia Lin Yu, Ming Yuan Feng, Wei Shi Liu, Zi Zhe Gao, Yi Xiao Zhang, Qi Yu Zhan, Tian Wu, Ding Fan Huang, Jia Yi Wu, Jia Qi Han, Lin Xuan Zhang, Huan Jie Luo, Qi Ye, Qi Wang, Yang Xuan Liu, Xiang Ming Lu, Yu King Zhang, Zi Yuan Yu, Wen Jia Zhang, Andrea Zhou, Kai Lin Zhang, Washuka Gitahi, Beatrice Pinheiro Aroso Neto, Diego Aponte, Adam Grant, Alisa Chalahian, Tareem Mosen, Ning Yuan Rao, Yu Fan Shi, 
学英教，鱼小河，瑞达，汉松，真顺，俊杰罗，回廷章，朱月软。Adina Balich, Nahimbura Mwangi, Israt Itu, Yu Shi Zhang, Lan Xing Zhang, Ang Li, Yan Bing Li, Su Lo. Nikhil Makaria, Nkemakolam Emihe, Nana Tiwa Asari, Carl Kerlegrand, Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Information and Knowledge Strategy please proceed to the stage? I will be standing in for the program director, Dr. Christoph Meinrenken, who is ill today and cannot be with us. Sarah Sambel. <laughs> Joe Novak. <laughs> Mariel Gokjalo. Tina Bai, Yasmin Amus, Suzanne Schregest, Serevuta Chow, Charles Hardage, Melissa Angel, Madeline Davio, Skylar Dickinson. Oscar Roman, Litsi Umana, Kamiar Hamidi, Fabio Hanna, Now I invite my esteemed colleague, Louise Rosen, Senior Associate Dean of Administrative Affairs and Communications, to welcome graduates to the stage. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Narrative Medicine please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome Program Director, Dr. Danielle Spencer, to congratulate our graduates. Allison Kofelt, Prasanna Karur, Nivedita Biju, Elena Lorenzana, Leila El Kulili, Noor Al Saad, Harriet Mathis Clary, Chelsea Hicks. Jade Dickinson, Emily Lauren Hoven, Zafire Ursa Hamim, Dorothea Biba Nawai, Olamide Adejumo, Christian Martinez. Yona Fight, Nancy Chong, Dahlia Chacon, Stephanie Francolancia, Nanako Shirai, Sarah May Goodman, Muhammad Ali Diria. Anna Kitta, 
Philip Gialopsis. Peter Sultan. Kerry Delucor. Tara Rani D. Saha. Jade Ayers. Jasmine Ayers. Olivia Rogo. Alexander Janji. Sally Marks. Kate Marber. Allison Lee. Emma Trenti Paroli. Riley Ryan Wood. Oh. <laughs> Hunter Christian Malloy. Gregory Michael Spiropoulos. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in nonprofit management please approach the stage? We would also like to welcome Program Director Cindy Lott to congratulate the graduates. Benjamin Murphy. Irfana Ahmed. Terry Ann Gray. Cheryl Brandon. Heather Guerrero. Kelsey Espada. Farhat Maisha Kabir. Elena Yaffa Colm. Ernest Stewart. Joseph Carroll. Mayra Aleman Portugal. Shuk Yi Shang. Mary Fiori. Carlene Kreitzer. Madeline Henris. Tanisia Winston. Savannah Cathers. Caroline Schiavo. Bernard Figueroa. William Laverne. Tiffany Hallgren Crook. Jessica Watt. Ryan Jones. Casey Russo. Samantha Nelson. Hassan Mortada. Folafumi Odukoya. Paul Martin. Donna Emma. Amy Wee. Rachel Liu. Catalina Lehman. Ashley Hefley. Yulinda Pelinkovic. Sabrina Jafferai. Sarah Convizer. Rachel Cartagainer. Dean Klein. Madeline Scott. Jenna Carr. Elise Wolf. Laura Candle. Evelina Freeman. Ray J. 
Georgia Janice B. Emma Ashley Shaheed. Whitney Nadeau. Rodney Davis. Agnes Bissell. Andrea Clark. Janet Gotthardt. Yu Jing Zhang. Xing Yu Zhou. Jia Gao. Kimbria Denny. Xiao Hu Fan. Jia Zheng Nia. Yi Xia Huang. Hai Ying Ju. Michaela Masati. Benita Wesselo. Nellie Jansen. Hyun Kim. Arlene Chandra. Eric Johnson. Donna Opande. Alex Swan. Tatiana Calvo. Michaela Gerwing. Candidates for the Master of Science degree in Strategic Communication, please proceed to the stage. We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Christine Billmeyer, to congratulate the graduates. Georgina Anderson. Jasmine Weiss. Alexandra Bodmer. Carrie Spence. Clement Gibson. Chelsea Hanna. Jia Rui Xin. Jie Yuan Zhou. Zi Kai Xie. Darcy Redden. Janique Chisman. <laughs> Kathleen Lamprez. Christina Brady. Catherine Glazebrook. Philip Smith. Kenia Mazariegos. Megan Sowersby. Shara Santan. Avin Jayavikrama. Pallavi Das. Kamara Lucas. Ashley Corley. Linda Yuri Greenberg. Eric Shea. Congratulations. Anthony Amiano. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Maya Terratetta. Mary Mattia Herwald. 
Noam Barlev. Chun Lin Lee. Lauren Spruill. Caitlin Hamburger. Deborah Lambert. Congrats, Debbie. Hannah Brassard. Milan Fredericks. Jean Han. Adriana Ball. Alyssa Kent. Adam Gerber. Vivian Na. Niken Larasati. Shanti Kurana. Roberto Lara Aranda. Catherine Morris. Kristen Fall. Erica Davis Stribling. Maureen Granados. Diana Colasurdo. Michelle Lin. Wen Jing O. Oh. Ale Maurtwa. Sophie Novikovsky. Se Yu Liu. Ge Tan Liu. Jia Xin Xu. Christopher Thompson Walls. Stuart Cubbon. Scott Miller. Robert Murphy. Lisa Cowboy. Jeff David Gray. Iman Khan. Yi Ling Huang. Ai Chi Huang. Yi Ming Ma. Yue Meng Wang. Yi Chi He. Julianne Bennett. Chelsea Cole. Juliana Santamaro. Nia Anike. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Sustainability Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to invite and welcome the program director, Dr. Stephen Cohen, to congratulate the graduates. <laughs> Joaquin Rosas. Lindsay Blitzstein. Michael Natch. Kivia Sugiarto. Jasmine Kerniawan. Silvia Andrade Rodriguez. Vivian Sanchez Sipacauta. Alan Chen. Prirana Tirodkar. Hui Ying Pham. 
Karime Estefan Lopez. Jessica Vargas Escobedo. Melissa Correa. Anna Wiles. Ashley Braddock. Molly Yestat. Janie Gusho. <laughs> Elaine Tu. Justin Chan. Stephanie Valley. Ariana Longinotti Buitoni Becco. Carla Gonzalez Estrada. Jeremy Solomon. Bridget Rooney. Holly Bunker. Chantal Tejada Herrera. Paul Saylor. Jade Alvarez. Celeste Van Deventer. Audrey Jackson. Hillary Latham. Skylar Bradley. Freya Curl. Michael Sterenberg. Daniela Figueroa. William Zurier. Shay Williams. Eric Mass. Christopher Hannigan. Daniel Lopez. Marwan Akari. Christina Lobo Guerrero. Laura Negri. Sophie Bertout Van Bircham. Christina Lampert. Lucia Yu. Edward McLean. Natalie Freeman. Linnea Angstrom. Peter Schott. Alex Karim. Jingyi Ju. Lillian Chan. Shubi Kasarwani. Deborah Thomas. Elizabeth Bertan. Anna Doran. Ben Halley. Fabian Falman. Dan Slats. Dhruv Mehta. Lauren Blaine Fulmer. Jennifer Dean. Marielle Scheck. Jennifer Ruenis. Salmia Menon. Ashna Agarwal. Rupal Mehta. Tanusha Satavali. Katie Sheehan. Amanda Chang. Nikki Shaw. Maxwell Tetro. Udip Ranjit. Jeffrey Robertson. Alexandra Grolinska. Namita Gurudas. Nina Siegel. Emma Moore. Amber Tizma. Leah Brusak. Ariane Schreier. Kanika Singh. 
Caitlin Harrington Smith, Ann Davis, Christina Tsukalas, Benjamin Carroll, Avatar Simpson, Sarah Steven, Emily Von Lessica, Arissa Christine Lahr, Madeline McGillivray Wallace, Catherine Cam, Kelsey Kane Rich, Catherine James, Lucas Myro, Jeffrey Prosserman, Andrew McCracken, Jung Yi Lee, Brian McEnroe, Charlotte Silverman, Whitney Davis, Allison Zhang, Joshua Herrig, Thomas Scheiter, Bijo Thomas, Sophia Spangler, Tess Kelly, Amy Wang, Nian Guo Liu, Hezekiah Williams, Martin Santos, Zachary Farr, Gary Weinstein, Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Sustainability Science please approach the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Braddock Lindsay, to congratulate the graduates. Chandler Precht. <laughs> Yi Jun Cao. <laughs> Angela Sun. <laughs> Laurel Zima. Margaret George. <laughs> Margaret Dorhout. Isabel Evans. Waspia Hawk. Ruben Go. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I am so honored to be here this afternoon. I am Sonal Pandey, and I have recently started at SPS as your Associate Dean for Alumni Relations and Development. I am so excited to welcome you, our newest minted graduates of the School of Professional Studies, to the wide network of the Columbia alumni community. Your time here at Columbia might have felt short, but as alumni, you will be a part of Columbia for life. <laughs> as a Columbia alumna myself, I can tell you that this is true. I want to encourage you to lean on the university throughout your careers and let us play a role in the great successes that lie ahead. I can't wait to see where you all go next. We will be here to support you every step of the way. Congratulations, you did it! Will the graduates, faculty, and offices of administration please rise for the academic recessional?